In this lesson, we'll add enemies to our game. They'll be very simple at first. They'll just move to one side and the other side as soon as they hit a wall. I'm including another file in index.html, which is called enemy.js. That will define a new module. I'm loading that new module here in game.js. Include action platformer enemy. That's the name of the module. Now let's look at enemy.js. In here I'm creating this new module, action platformer enemy, and I want to create a new class which is going to be a class for ground enemies, for enemies that walk on the ground. And that class will extend the sprite class that comes with Quintus. You can and you should um, look into the file Quintus underscore sprites to learn more about sprites and the 2D module. All right, so let's call this new class ground enemy. And I need to enter here what happens when you create one of these classes. We call the constructor. And this, the first thing we'll do, it'll, it'll create, it'll initiate the sprite with the parameters that you've given this and with some default parameters, which will be a velocity on x, minus 50, default direction, left. Again, just check Quintus underscore sprites to um, learn more how sprites work. And we want to add some components, like we did with player, we'll add the 2D components so that gravity applies, and collision applies, and basic physics applies. And we'll be adding another component, which is defined in Quintus underscore sprites, which is called AE Bounce. This basically what it does, it'll make the enemies from go from one side and then they'll hit a wall and then they walk to the other side. So, um, if we wanted our enemies to actually use a certain image, we would have to add the sheet a parameter here and pick one of the available sheets from our sprite sheet. So it could be, for instance, a blue alien. You would have to type sheet blue alien. So that's if you want to hard code it. Or you can just have it load the sheet from tiled, which, it, which is what we'll do now. So let's open tiled. And if you take a look at the corresponding level for this video, you'll see that there's a couple of enemies here. So basically, um, I chose this the blue alien that, that that's in the that's present on this sheet as well. And I gave this tile some properties. So it has a class ground enemy and a sheet of blue alien. It's added in object layer using this tool here, insert tile. That's how these tiles were inserted. Now if I had added this information to another image such as this one or this one, if I, if I write sheet blue alien, it will still show the blue alien. Remember that we're using the images here just to guide ourselves, just to make it easier for us. But we could have, we could easily have a single image here that represents an enemy, and then we enter in, in sheet what the enemy is going to look like. But to make it easier for us, I'm using the, the same one that we are, that we're really going to show. So this is how I've placed them. I can add some more if I want. I can add many of them and save and now let's um, let's load this up in the browser see what we get so see how you get all these enemies we haven't defined what happens when you touch them or when they touch you there's no death yet but we have all these enemies that um, collide with walls now see how we had this one here that was actually on top of this platform and then it falls. We would also want this not to fall. So we'll later on in the course we'll implement that behavior as well. And something that was was pending from a previous video is that I want to show you how to emulate a mobile browser from here. So this button here allows you to emulate certain devices. So I can pick a device, for instance, I can pick an Amazon Kindle Fire, and I click on emulate, and I should reload the page, and that will um, give me the screen size that corresponds to this device, and see how it's um, it's actually showing the the it's showing the controls as if I was touching. So it emulates the touch screen and it shows you the controls. So if you load any of these examples in a mobile phone or a touch screen enabled um, device, it will show the um, the 
the controls as you're seeing them on the screen.